Hey everyone, HHO for all. I want to show you guys my new lab power supply that I put together. I converted this from a PC power supply, um, ATX power supply. Um, that's important because um, if you try to convert an old AT power supply, uh, chances are the amperage isn't going to be high enough for what you want to be doing. And then also the color coding is completely different. So anyway, with that in mind, I just want to show you guys um, just a quick walkthrough of how I did this in case you're interested in trying it for yourself. Um, what you do first thing is you take all the cables and you cut the connectors off the ends of them. And then you sort out all of your colors, you group them all together, and then you use cable ties or zip strips, whatever, whatever you want to call them, and you uh, just tighten them in together and run them all together into a single connector. And uh, you only have to do that for the yellow and the black because that's all you're going to be using on this power supply, the positive and the negative. And um, there's two other wires that you will be using. You'll be using the gray and the green, which you'll be connecting to a 12-volt switch. I did that over here. I drilled a hole in front of, or back, whatever, and I put a 12-volt automotive switch into it. And uh, so that way it's, it's a little more convenient because obviously you're not going to want to have bare wires hanging out and have to tap them together every time you want to turn it on or off. So anyway, you just flip the switch and then it turns on. Real simple. Nothing to it. So um, all the other wires that you have, you're going to want to just roll them up and pull them in tight with cable tie or zip strip. And um, I just pulled them in real tight on the inside there and uh, just tucked them off to the side so that way they aren't going to get caught up in the fan and they aren't going to be on any components that are going to get hot so you don't have to worry about them melting or anything and um, then I just ran out the positive and negative so anyway just to keep in mind the yellow is the 12 volt feed and the black is the negative so over here I've got this 12 volt positive going over to my 15 amp breaker and then I've got the wire running around to my 15 amp amp meter and then you've got your positive that goes over here to your alligator clip and same thing with the negative negative just goes to the alligator so anyway that's that this is a uh, new lab power supply uh, the reason that I built this um, my other one died on me. I was testing out one of my fuel cells and I had a short in it and there was just too much power that went across the line and the circuit breaker didn't trip and it fried it out. So lucky for me that these are cheap enough that uh, you know it's you can get one for under 40 bucks and then the amp meter I got on eBay for I think five or six bucks and the circuit breaker for about the same price. So you're talking about 50, 55 bucks to put it together yourself, uh, plus the switch. I think that's like 2.99 at an auto parts store. So anyway, um, that's that. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be glad to walk you through it. H H O for all. I'm out of here.